Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be walking you through a couple of the most common fixes that you can apply to your Amazon Fire TV device to get it up and running properly, especially if your applications aren't launching or working very well, then these are gonna be a couple of things that I definitely recommend that you do to see if it fixes your issue. These are gonna be checking to see if you're connected properly to your Wi-Fi router with a good signal strength and being just connected to the internet as well as just doing a system reset or reboot. Going through these two things are going to fix a lot of the issues that you might run into. So starting with our internet connection, we're gonna take out our Amazon Fire TV remote and hold down the home button for a few seconds. Go over to settings and select on that. Then we're gonna go down and over to where it says network. And then the first thing that pops up should be the wireless connection that you're hooked up with. My router is called wireless, simple enough. Over on the right hand side of the screen, you see we have a very good signal strength and it also says that we are connected. But to get a little bit more of our network status, we can click the play pause button on our router. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. And you can see it says we are connected to Wi-Fi, which means that we're currently hooked up with our Wi-Fi router. If you're not connected to your Wi-Fi router, maybe you accidentally unplugged it, or maybe you changed the password of it recently and you haven't gone in and typed in the new password into your Amazon Fire TV device. So those might be a couple of things that fix that. And then signal strength, if you're not in the good, very good, excellent type of range, I recommend getting your router closer to your Amazon Fire TV device or making it so that it doesn't have to go through as many obstructions like walls or floors or you know tables, couches, all of these types of things that your signal might have to go through uh, and block it. And so you might be in a situation where you're not getting a strong enough signal for your applications to work properly. Now you also see it says channel 11 quality for me is set at good. This is gonna be a number somewhere between one and 11, and it's just however your particular router was set up to change this. It's kind of an involved process, so hopefully that's not gonna be your issue, but if you do need to change what channel that your wireless router is on, you have to go to that on your computer or your phone, and I definitely recommend Googling how to do that particular process. It's a little bit involved, but it's probably not gonna be the situation where that's gonna be your problem for most of you. The next thing down connected to the internet, of course, we need to be connected to the internet. Maybe the internet in your area is down for some particular reason, so that's gonna be a check on that. If you're not connected to the internet, of course, you're not gonna be able to use your different applications on your Amazon Fire TV device. But if you have everything checked off, ready to go, great signal strength, you're on a good quality channel, then the next thing you can try is just simply resetting or rebooting your Amazon Fire TV device. Now we're gonna go back to the home page here and show you how to do this simple and easy. Go ahead and click the big circle select button and the play pause button. Hold those two down for about three to five seconds or so. And then after holding them down for a while, it says your Fire TV is powering off. It's just gonna go through a recycle reboot situation. You might run into some bugs or applications might not be working properly and just resetting your device is gonna fix it at the end of the day. I run into this every so often and a simple reboot oftentimes gets things working back properly. Another way that you can reset your device is by simply unplugging it from its power source, waiting about 10 seconds or so, and then plugging it back in. That's also another way if your wireless router isn't working properly, also doing a reboot with that can help, unplugging it from its power source, waiting about 10 seconds or so, and then plugging it back in if you're having issues with your internet. So hopefully these two simple, easy steps, you go through them and it fixes whatever issue that you might be running into. If these two steps don't help you out, I'll link whatever other videos that I've made on how to fix different things with your Amazon Fire TV device down in the video description so you can check those out as well or you can throw a question down in the comment section so that's going to wrap up this video guys subscribe for more and we hope to see you in future videos bye